Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, please. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, time to get back down with this Eden streak. Couple days, uh, and on my end at least, of just doing the daily. XG112D6LG, so I'm hoping that, um, you know, a little bit of time away does the body good here. I will admit, high rate of fire, low damage, no HP, uh, headless baby, love toots is not necessarily my favorite Eden configuration. But... It's okay. Sometimes uh, that's just the the card that life will will deal you. It's the it's the dice that life has dealt, and as a result, we will um, we will persevere. Uh, I don't know if we take this battery charge yet. It might be nice to have love toots for a big room, but in all honesty, I think it's fairly likely to be completely irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> here's I guess we do need it then. Um, here's an interesting question: Is it worth? just skipping our item room to skip this big room? The answer is probably not, but certainly this is a, a real annoying uh, subset of enemies to deal with. At the present point in my life that I'm in right now, I actually feel like a headless baby is probably our best damage dealer. Uh, at least against enemies that we can fairly realistically kite onto our creep, which is kind of hilarious. I guess it ended up being an easier big room than I thought it would be. There's still one more dude left somewhere okay um yeah so you know what headless baby i give it a good rap most of the time most of the time i'm like you know headless baby it's not bad there's there's value in it there's also uh, for doing that room we got access to a spirit heart which is dope well we got access to a bomb which gives us access to a tinted rock which hopefully gives us access to a uh, a spirit heart but you know small rock wouldn't be useless right now either Got to figure out how to use... Ooh, that's that's all right. Got to figure out how to use Love Toots uh, effectively here because it's otherwise, like, super trash. And I'm not talking about, you know, the 70s rock group of a similar name. Take the take the long way home. Take the long way. You know what I'm talking about. Um, that's Super Tramp. Pride Fight? I don't like the tiny Pride Fights here. But Headless Baby's doing doing wonders. I think we got probably pretty lucky there. Lover's card does nothing for us. Okay, well... Let's go see what we get from that Tinted Rock. I mean, two Spirit Hearts would be awesome. And then an HP upgrade from our boss. But wouldn't, uh, wouldn't turn the other cheek if they gave me DPS. That would also be awesome. Looks like we get five cents out of this too. So we could maybe go to our shop and buy another... Well, maybe buy one Spirit Heart now? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh... Didn't really work out the way I wanted. Oh, this is so interesting. Maybe we end up actually buying the card that could possibly be the Joker. Nah, I'm looking at this. We probably buy the Spirit Heart. Oh, dude, thank you, Headless Baby. Made this so easy. Toothpicks. Yeah! You know what? Let's use... <clears throat> pardon me. Let's use Hanged Man there. Um, then we'll come down here and get the Spirit Heart. And then we'll get the best of both worlds. And the secret room, apparently, gave us two of clubs. And then enough money to possibly get tear detonator. Sure. Uh, Love Toots is pretty bad. So as much as this is kind of a, you know, we're nickel and diming it here. We're going to take tear detonator and, and hope that this gives us like a half decent value out of it. I don't know. Maybe we'll check for a second secret room too. At least we found it. Didn't completely waste the bomb. Then we got a bunch of pills. Explosive diarrhea. Luck up is good. Perks is actually totally good. Because we have two of them for once. And uh, we can take this down with us to the next floor for some purpose that I will consider later. For now, uh, we've improved ourselves. Toothpicks is pretty okay. And uh, certainly, Tear Detonator, while not great, can... You can see it blossoming. It's a it's a space bar item that that can grow, whereas uh, I would say Love Toots is is pretty much tapped out uh, at at a static kind of usefulness, static level of usefulness. Um, so yeah, sure. In the future, perhaps we'll find we'll find something advantageous to do with Tear Detonator. I'm telling you know it doesn't look like it right now, but it's because our damage kind of sucks and our rate of fire is good, but we'll get better as the game goes on. This can be a good item. You don't don't uh, don't think that I'm telling you a fib here. 
Okay, so we're obviously in the market for a uh, for a uh, bomb, so we can access that tinted rock and also get the key out of it. This is not a good start, but I think we've made the best of it so far. You know, so far so good. Thank God for toothpicks, man. Without that, we would be in even saltier of a position right now. And also, thank God for Headless Baby. Like, I've said it a few times over the course of this run already, but seriously, Headless Baby is holding it down. You know, we put a little bit of protective creep near us, and enemies just kind of walk into it, because at least on the first floor, they're, they're pretty silly. We actually killed an enemy. Uh, it took a little longer than I'd like, but we killed an enemy with Tear Detonator there. What would be awesome would be something like um, Death's Touch combined with Cricket's Body or the Parasite. Then Tear Detonator can really start to pop off. Got Mom's wig, which is neither of those items I I mentioned before this, but is still like can be okay. Just try to shoot some uh, poop. If we can get five cents and a key, we could enter our shop, buy a bomb, blow up the tinted rock, get a key, and whatever the tinted rock wants to give us as well, which may actually actually make a uh, a deal with the devil possible. It's, it seems like kind of a roundabout process, but maybe it's worth it. We'll we'll find out. Uh, it's actually a pretty good sign that we can kill those guys in uh, in one hit, or in in one uh, phase, I guess. So blind rage, as far as uh, trinkets go, is okay for sure. So there's our key. So we're not looking to actually buy a spirit heart in here. I think it's much more advantageous to buy a bomb if we can get one. There is no bomb, but there is a spirit heart. There's also car battery, which is awesome with tear detonator, uh, in in theory at least. I don't know if I've ever used it in practice, but in theory it's awesome. Uh, I guess, yeah, we're gonna... Gonna hope that maybe we get, like, a matchbook or something. We get enough bombs to, to possibly blow up the donation machine into giving us car battery. It might seem like we're, you know, kind of taking a little bit of a roundabout approach to this. We could just buy the spirit art and have a pretty good chance of taking whatever deal with the devil that we want. But if I take a deal with the devil at, at three and a half spirit hearts that costs three and gives nothing back, we're fucked anyway. We're, we're, if we get hit once, we're done, right? So it's probably just a good indication that we shouldn't be taking that deal with the devil to begin with, is my guess. But uh, we'll, we'll see. If it's nine lives or something, I'm, I'm obviously all in. Or if this guy gives me HP, I'm, I'm in a good spot to take it. By this guy, I mean Monstro, probably the boss that we fought the most in our history of... Actually, probably at this point, Mom's the boss we fought the most, I have to imagine. It, it is HP, we'll take it right away to possibly finance the deal with the devil that didn't contain anything anyway, but did give us a bunch of spirit hearts. And spiders. Okay, so we're shooting everything, trying to get to car battery. If we can't get to car battery, life goes on. We do want to go to this curse room as well now, I guess, but... Okay, let's be real, we're not getting to car battery. So what do you do instead? You buy battery, battery? I think we buy battery, battery. And donate one penny for no reason. Um, we could also, if we were idiots, play the self-sacrifice room with this perks pill, but that's better served later, if at all. Um, curse room may contain nothing, but we've got the HP necessary to give it a try anyway. Sure, it, it was worth it as long as we don't die. Oh, especially because we got this bomb. Ideal outcome. Sure, uh, Tinted Rock giving us small rock would be great, but ideal outcome right away would have been a bomb and a spirit heart, then tin then small rock later. But I'm not going to complain. Small rock's pretty good here, uh, and and everywhere. So now that we have our key, we are pretty much done with this floor, and it took us long enough. But we've actually built something that's like half decent here. Small rock, in particular, toothpicks. I don't know, man. Battery tear detonator. It doesn't seem great, but. Uh, it's what we got. And we don't have to use it on every room. Because we've kind of held off a little bit, we can now use um, one battery charge per room and still have two available at any given time. Uh, if, if we deem it appropriate. For example, on this room, use one. When we finish this room, we'll also just get one. So uh, there is value in having the battery for a, uh, a one charge item because you can have two pretty much on demand. But it's not uh, as huge as having it for like the D6 or something is, obviously. Found our spirit heart. Or sorry, found our secret room. Ability to fly, useful there. I, I also don't know, like on a room full of rocks, I sort of feel like Tear Detonator eats shit a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Chameleon, you come and go. Uh, loving, loving could be easy if your loving was like my dreams. 
Yo, if you're dreaming in red, gold, and green, you gotta see a dream optometrist, man. That's not enough colors. So we have perks, but we also have High Priestess. I would say on a non-daily run, High Priestess is probably more likely to provide us with a, a tangible benefit. Um, just because I'm probably pretty unlikely to use uh, perks to do like a self-sacrifice room. I'm not really interested in teleporting to the dark room on this run, is my guess. I may uh, regret that later, but for now I'm feeling like that's probably the most likely outcome. And you can see, like, we're actually doing damage now. This is uh, an exciting time to be a part of this run. Let's see what our deal with the devil may or may not hold here. Could be a deal with the angel. Ah! That's what I get for saying that uh, that was actually useful. Oh, man. Headless baby still chewing him up with that uh, little creep there. Probably the worst usage of remote detonator I could I could fathom right now. Uh, we've been fighting the stain. Well, I, I, it's only my second run today. I can't really say I've been fighting the stain that much, but uh, I have fought him twice on two runs. That's a hundred percent. What did I get hit by there? This is just something I missed, I guess. Okay, if we could finish the job before he does the second phase, ideal. Deal with the devil. Okay, Joker card maybe. Two of diamonds, also pretty good. Uh, I think you have to take the guppy item for future considerations. My shadow is is merely okay. We've actually sped up quite a lot here. Um, we, we were a couple minutes behind schedule, now we're not. Although we probably, possibly will be by the time we leave. But I gotta go get to uh, our item room. Usually caves to relatively small floor. We've already been there. That is probably worth a bomb. These are the kind of rooms where I think Tear Detonator might actually be useful for us. The hard thing to get used to is aiming to miss enemies, because a missed tier is actually worth like five tiers. And a, an aimed tier that actually hits something is worth zero as soon as you press that space bar, so... Be ready for that. Okay, let's use one bomb here. That was well worth it. We got three back. And we may use a few here to try to... Uh, Basically, I'm not going to say cheat the system, but we're basically playing the lottery, trying to get uh, magic or mini mush out of this. I'd take either, but obviously, you know, one of them is uh, a little bit more valuable than the other. There's not a lot of equality in the mushroom economy right now. One of them is, is dominating demand. Yeah, we're going to be out of here in 12 minutes, which is pretty bad. Every cent is two cents as long as we're holding this card. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, five cents. I'm not sure if that's worth going to our shop because mostly we can't. Golden Teleporter is really good, but I'm gonna stick with Tear Detonator. By really good, I mean mostly half decent. <laughs> oh man, if I don't get hit on this room, that's good. There was no reason for us to even be here, but, um, Golden Teleporter is, is really, oh, that's unfortunate damage. It's really good from a daily perspective, at least, uh, because you can guarantee yourself those deals with the devil and, and possibly error rooms as well, but... Uh, sure, let's let's throw a bomb in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd say that was worth it. Six cents for one bomb. We should at least look into this room. Might be might be valuable. Uh, we can't open it anyway, so no sweat in it. Magic mush. Liberty cab, which I think is probably better. Pretty much every mushroom effect... Oh yeah, this is the right way. Pretty much every mushroom effect is positive for us relative to Blind Rage, I'd say. Not that Blind Rage is bad, it's actually quite good. But, um, you know, being able to see the map is, is nice, or at least the compass. Um, being able to have Magic Mush or Skinny on Mushroom, or even Mini Mush for a room is pretty solid as well. Curse of the Unknown. Oh, I can, I can feel the tears up from whatever mushroom we got on this room. And I like it. I don't really, I mean, I'm not worried much about boss rush at this point. I know that sounds like, yeah, sure, you're not worried much about boss rush. This is the fucking only thing you talk about. But, I'm really not that worried about boss rush, but I'll do it if the, uh, I'll, I'll do the boss trap room if the price is right. And Death's Touch is definitely the right price. I think I'll still do this room, even. We got a key out of it to start with, so that's really good. Death's Touch is huge with Remote Detonator. It's, it's half of the puzzle. Of course, if we could get tiers that spawn more tiers, I'd be even more into it, but um, for now, Death's Touch may just give us that damage bonus that we need to feel like this run has, uh, you know, beauty in it. Because <laughs> right now, uh, there, have, there have been some rooms where uh, I've been like, this run is trash. 
But Death's Touch is a huge pickup. Of course, the caveat is I have no idea how much HP we have, but um, we, we paid three and took one. Like, took one from the uh, from the deal with the devil, so that's good. Oh, tons more money and more keys. This ended up being a very good decision. Not that I uh, I can really take any credit for it. Basically, we saw a good item and took it, but I'm, I'm glad that we took the initiative to do that room. Okay. Lucky dodge. We have seen our deal with the devil here, so we don't need a deal with the devil on this floor, although it may be nice. And you can start to see, you know, we got a larger hitbox on our shots as well. It's making it so remote, or tier detonator, I probably said remote detonator about a hundred times, but it's, it's making it so tier detonator is actually functional. Can't really gauge too much from that room considering it was, uh, you know, some of the least tanky enemies of all time. Okay, there's not going to be a secret room there, good to know. That way we know uh, if we want to do the curse room, we got to pay for it. Can we pay for it? Probably, but I, uh... Wow! Hell of a jump there! Uh, I can't say for certain yet. So now is about the time where I start to get a little uh, nervous about our available HP. Probably fine, but could be could be mistaken. So what I was hoping for was just a... Oh my god! To be careful. An early shop so I could buy a Spirit Heart and hopefully other things as well. Please don't be greed. Now it'd be a... Oh, curved horn! Should have picked it up before this room because it is greed. But, let's be real. This is a great situation. Curved Horn is a huge help, as long as we don't die. Yeah, you can already feel the uh, the damage getting stronger there. Probably a secret room? No, okay. Well, uh, I'm not going to be too picky about it. This could be a second secret room. Please give me a black heart. Or a red chest containing two spiders. You played right into my hand. That's the other thing I would have wanted. I'm being sarcastic, of course. That's, that's pretty garbage. Okay, uh, hopefully this boss gives me HP. I'll take Squeezy, I'll take, you know, your regular forms of HP. I'll take the Rosary, I'll, I'll take what you got, basically. Luckily we're fast enough to not be at risk of getting hit by the Forsaken too much. Squeezy! By lord, they've done it. They've, they've answered my prayers. Okay, down to the next floor, forget the curse room. We may want all of our available HP. We weren't that low, but we weren't that high either. Like, if we were a Tal Bachman song, we definitely would not be, She's so high, high, high above me, she's so lovely. We wouldn't be that one, for sure. I don't know any other Tal Bachman songs, so. Just want to blow this up and see. Are we going to spend a, uh, a spirit heart getting over there to get Bob's brain and possibly, I guess, Rib of Greed? No, absolutely not. That would be that would be very silly. Bob's brain is okay in certain situations, but I think we have enough damage right now to render it largely more of a nuisance than a help. And uh, of course, taking the damage to get over there is extremely cost prohibitive right now. Get a battery charge, pretty much worthless. Basically, what remote detonator it's, again, tier detonator is at this point is kind of like. An active item version of Toxic Shock. Thank you. Um, it's it's rarely killing enemies. Sometimes it's killing them, but rarely. Um, mostly it's like it weakens enemies, so we only have to hit them a couple of times afterwards. Libra, I'm going to take because I don't know better. So immediately I see that our speed has increased. I imagine... Uh, it feels like our rate of fire is about the same. So I'm imagining that probably our damage is tanked considerably. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> there was a tinted rock there, but there's a little bit of danger involved. Sure, okay. Uh, I mean, we'll see how our damage looks, but right now it seems like Libra wasn't a, a horrible decision. Having more speed just makes me feel more comfortable as well. Even if it did come at a cost to our damage, that's suboptimal, but it's not the end of the world. Now I feel more comfortable dodging enemies. Too bad it doesn't balance our HP, because I would like to have, you know, some red hearts to work with at this point in my in my life. But four spirit hearts is enough to, to take a deal if the deal is stellar. We're not, like, locked out of deals with the devil. We're not really confident, but we're not locked out. Now, boss rush is, like, super not doable here, but... Uh, the shop is essential. Oh, you idiot. The shop is essential um, because we have 
Steam sale, and basically 64 cents. That's like quadruple the purchasing power that 32 cents would normally give you, so. I mean, I mean, one of them is doubled, obviously, and then, you know, there's the other one that is the Steam sale, so everything's half price. In case that the math got a little, uh, not stated properly there. Let's, uh, let's double and donate. You know, we the donation machine has kept us in the game here. Let's be nice to our donation machine and do our part in, in keeping it in our game so that we can, you know, keep getting stronger in the future. Certainly not an incredibly strong seed. I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest that this is one that uh, is easily won. But it's also, uh, you know, there's been a few different opportunities for us to pull ahead here. Will we buy the stopwatch? I may buy the stopwatch, honestly, uh, because it doesn't work automatically now. It's been nerfed a little bit to make it uh, less viable, which I think is awesome. I think now it's an item that you actually can take. So let's, we, we donated like 60 cents there. We'll take the stopwatch. Spiders, yeah, okay, just clear the room. Thank you very much. Um, and we have enough money to get a consumable and an item on our next floor if there's no greed, so I'm, I'm into that. And we're fighting Loki, who is a pretty easy enemy here, all things considered. Will we get a deal with the devil? Uh, I thought we earned one on the last floor. I know we also got one from a red chest, but I thought we earned one, so our odds are pretty low. But hey, there you go. It's a, it's a good time to fight Krampus, honestly, because we didn't have our, uh, our old bandage heart container filled. But old bandage will be useful for us in the future. Just having one red heart container means a lot. You know what? I'm sticking with remote detonator at this point, or <laughs> tier detonator at this point. I've committed to it. It's it's buoyed us a little bit, and you know we're gonna grow together here. That's that's how we're gonna do this. The sun, sun, oh Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Um, let's uh pop that so that we can actually get the HP and see where we're going. It's a bit of a, a suboptimal use of it, but. I don't think it's that suboptimal. Oh, right. We, we can automatically tell that this room is not where we want to be. Because we have the sun card. Thank you. We could possibly finagle that chest out of there, but it's a little bit of a... It's a big ask. Ooh, yeah. This won't be a second secret room, probably, but let's do it anyway. Enough consumables to make me feel good about the investment there. What are we looking for, for our, from our item room? I still hold to the idea that um, the uh, Cricket's Body or the Parasite would be a really nice pickup. We don't have like a Curse of the Blind or anything on this floor, so we don't have to worry about taking something that'll actually be like disadvantageous. I'm gonna get you, dog. You're gonna get got. Plenty of consumables over there if we decide that it's worth our while. Maybe, maybe not. I think we do take soy milk. As, as ridiculous as it sounds, soy milk Libra is actually great. Uh, and also, it works so well with remote detonator. And you'll ex- or <laughs> tier detonator! You'll excuse me if I don't feel a certain sense of vindication here for tier detonator and Libra. Did we get absurdly lucky that we got like the ideal combination of items to actually make it shine? Yes, I would say the way that question is phrased makes the answer that you desire pretty clear um, but who dares wins man so we we invested in some items that have uh, variable returns and I'd say we uh, we won pretty hard on them even though this synergy is still not like you know mom's knife levels in terms of damage oh the damage is actually like amazing though that is good man uh, no deal with the devil take the Polaroid and get moving here this is this is what the zaniness is supposed to create sometimes. I'm happy to see it. Um, yeah, so we'll do the standard technique of blowing that up, seeing if it's worth it. I'm going to guess that one or even two spirit hearts for that is probably not worth it. Similar situation right there. Wow. We are actually one-shotting some relatively tanky enemies with our tier detonator here, which is uh, surprising would be one way that I would describe it. We're going to go a little bit broke here. Or we're going to go for broke, I should say. You'd stand no chance. Like, I'm not even using Tear Detonator here. Because the enemies are dying so quickly. What's the point? Uh, okay, so Tammy's head is really good. 
But I think Tear Detonator is actually better for us here. It's basically like a Tammy's head that um, is a little bit more functional, I think. I think. You may take issue with that. Do you hear the number of shots we created there? That was awesome, man. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, this is a dead end. I probably got about five minutes before people are going to start yelling at me about setting the NLSS docket. So, we got, we're got we going to be a little late for setting the docket, but that's okay. At least this run hit its stride eventually. So that I didn't get mired in like a 45-minute pit of despair. Oh, that was very close. And of course, yeah, use one bomb to get two bombs. That's exactly what I would recommend if you're not me, because I'm going to be a little bit lazy about it. Quite frankly, because we can afford to be a little bit lazy about it, and we have come through on the other side in a good position. I'm not going to fight Hush, several reasons. One of which, transparently, is time. Another one is, uh, this run is worse than it looks, but it's good because, uh, partly because of Tear Detonator, which is not a good Hush spacebar item, because it only gets used twice in the fight, thanks to battery. Like, it gets used once normally, twice thanks to battery. So, it is a genuine thanks. But, um, it's it's not really a, a hush-suitable run, in my opinion. Oh, that was a little close. Just dead ends galore, man. Yeah. That, uh, we deserve that. We also don't have a ton of HP. And we've never had a ton of HP on this run. But, you know, we still don't have a ton of HP. Double Loki should be super easy. No deal with the devil, but a growth hormones pickup, which is basically, you know, an all stats pickup thanks to Libra. But it does contribute towards spun. I don't know if the spun damage bonus, if we even got it, if that would be uh, redistributed thanks to Libra, but who knows, man. Uh, as, as much as you might say, hey, you should take Pandora's box up to the cathedral. We're not going to do that because Tear Detonator has been so much fun for us. I don't want to shit on Tear Detonator by just uh, getting rid of it at, you know, the latest opportunity to get something out of Pandora's box. Should pick up the Bible so we don't get it again, but... Nah, Tear Detonator's too cool to pass up here. Explosive Diarrhea. Addicted. Not a bad room to get addicted on. Because it was already done. We should do one room uh, without using Tear Detonator, just so we can get back to having a redundant charge. Which I think is important, in case we ever want to crack two. So now, we're, we're, we're back in the safe zone. And of course, we get a battery charge, which rendered that strategy completely irrelevant. But, eh, what's done is done. <laughs> this is going to end up being like a relatively um, quick run as well, which is very surprising. Considering we had basically no chance at, uh, at boss rush from like the third floor onward. But, you know, I'm, no skin off my scrot. I'm, I'm happy with the situation as it, as it stands right now. Even our spiders are doing a lot, and you know, that, that's good, because we're not really getting a whole hell of a lot of spiders, so... Uh, the more damage that each one of them can do... Um, you know, our, our quality of life gets orders of magnitude better. Alright, it lives. Definitely uh, a two... Remote detonator option. Oh my god, you see the extra damage output from that? Just beautiful. And to deal with the devil. I can't remember if we even have red hearts. We must have red hearts. Let's take pentagram. Let's head up to the cathedral. Um, we maybe could have taken Rotten Baby. But I don't think it's necessary. I think pentagram's probably better. Even though Rotten Baby is majestic. Also, Rotten Baby would have killed us. So I think we made the right decision. In fact, it may have been the right decision to take nothing. But at this point, you know, health is health. One red heart container is basically the same as one spirit heart. And I'll trade one spirit heart for the for the pentagram in, in most situations where it's literally non-lethal in the exact moment that we did it. Going fine so far. Again, if possible, you find a room that's easy, don't use a tear detonator on it, then we can get our redundant charge back. Like, this room is probably easy enough to, to say that that's okay. And we maybe get an Emperor card? Two of Diamonds, okay. Get that swag bonus out of control. Um, Isaac fight. That was a very fast floor. We'll wait till the angels spawn, and then we'll try to double tap this. Got lucky not to get hit there. Okay, so there's our uh, there's our two tier detonators. I hope that this episode doesn't inspire a rash of copycat, you know, Libra tier detonator runs. 
because most of the time it's not going to work out for you. This is like my my contingency plan completely came true, except for the fact that I didn't get the parasite or uh, Cricket's body. But apart from that, maybe we'll get it here. Twenty twenty, uh, yeah, that's real. That's real nice. Dead Eye, also probably amazing here. Anarchist Cookbook is worthless. Uh, cancer item, yeah, absolutely. So nobody knows where we're going here, but. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. Now all we need is, like, sad bombs or something to hit, like, max level ridiculousness. It looks like the damage bonus from Deadeye is applied... Oh, we gotta check that. Is applied as the shots hit. So if we, like, miss with our shots, then spawn the tears. The tears get... Or the spawn the tier detonator tears. Those tears get the Deadeye bonus, even if it seems like they shouldn't. Which is awesome. It seems like they shouldn't because they've already been fired, is what I'm getting at. But, no, this is, this is fantastic. Alright, this one is... Is spiraled out of control in the best way possible. Oh, Joker, maybe? Two of hearts. Not worthwhile at all. Uh, this ended up being an exceptionally fun seed. Depending on what you... Oh, uh, maybe it doesn't get applied. I don't know. Um, depending on what you took, maybe it was exceptionally boring. But my run was not exceptionally boring. My run is, is just a beautiful hallmark of, of zaniness gone right here. And we're done in 28 minutes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Have a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.